but that's not it. Come on, Pastor. That's not it. And you're not being sacrificed for the one. But you, you're being elevated. Your, your parents know that you're strong enough and you got everything. If you read on down in the scripture, the father tells the older son that he had never withheld anything. From that's him. right, that's right. That he had everything he had was his. Yes. Yeah. Everything he had was his. Yes. So he didn't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about anything. God would sacrifice the one for all of us. Mm -hmm. And he did. You remember the scripture, John 3, 16? Mm -hmm. It says, for God so loved the world, he sacrificed the one That's right. for the many, that he gave his only begotten son. Come on. Glory to his name. Yes. That all you have to do is believe in him, and you should not perish, but you're going to have everlasting life. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Somebody find that next verse for me. In verse 17, it, it goes on to tell you a little bit more about it. It doesn't stop right there. <clears throat> so only thing we have to do is remember that God sacrificed his son for the many. He loved us so much That's right. that he was willing to give his son. Read it for me. 17. 17. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father have bread enough? John 3, 17. Oh, 3, 17. I'm sorry. John 3, 17. Glory to God. If somebody get it. For well, God right. sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He didn't send his son to condemn the world, but through him that we all might be saved. Talking about a father's love. Yeah, yeah. Talking about a father's love. If any of you are today feel like that you're missing out on the father's love, mm -hmm. I'm here to let you know that the father is always here and he's always ready, willing, and able to throw his loving arms around you and to, to bring you back into the fold. There's no love greater than a father's love. There's no love greater than a parent's love. You might say there's no greater love than a mother's love. But when a child knows that she's, he or she is loved by the father, mm -hmm. it makes a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Because the father is set at the head. And fathers, we are depending on you like never before. Amen. We are depending on you, fathers. There's only three here, but y'all tell everybody else that we are depending on them. Amen. Amen. Yes, I am an independent woman, and I'm more than willing to step back. I'm more than willing to step back and allow my husband to take the wheel. But sometimes we as women, we allow our husbands to take the wheel, but we want to take it back sometimes. Most of the time. All the time. All the time. <laughs> ah, let them drive. Let them drive sometimes. Amen. Because the fathers think they love us. And they're going to do what they need to do. If they love God, the way they say they love God. They don't love God. God would teach them how to love you the way they should love us and do the things that they should do within the home. Glory to God. Amen. Come on and give God a hand clap of praise. For the Father's love. Don't forget, you are clothed in his righteousness. You have the ring of, of sonship and your shoes you're no longer servant, right. but you are son. the sons yeah. and daughters of the Most High God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.